Diabetes Awareness Day, Don Cheney, and DACA. Good morning, Belen. I'm Andres Frenero. And I'm Frank Garcia Montes. And this is WBLN. Every year, Belen Joseph prepares to help our community during Thanksgiving. Rodrigo Blanco has the latest. Many of us are fortunate enough that our families can have a meal every day, but in our own community, that's not always the case. Jesu Church Pastor Eduardo Alvarez is trying to help out. My parish spends close to $8,000 a month in paying uh, for breakfast and lunch. Florida currently have about 1.1 million children who don't know when their next meal will be. Um, not only do we feed them with a breakfast early at 9.30 in the morning, but at 12.30 after we pray, uh, at 12.30 we feed them. And we feed them not like uh, the things you young people eat in, in, in quick lunches at Belen that you are that may be light. No, no. These people sit down. There are 80 of them. They sit down and with employees that I have downstairs, there are served trays of food. How long has the uh, Jamie Church been working with the uh, Thanksgiving Free Drive with the land? With uh, We have been working for the last uh, 10 years with Belen for the uh, food drive. The Thanksgiving food drive is ongoing this week and we have raised enough food for about 30 families. Our goal is to feed 500 families. Each grade has different items to bring in. Please help by bringing a few cans to your flex classroom. Don't forget, if we reach our goal of 500 families, Brother Mike and Brother Bishop will dress up as the Turkey Brothers for a day. For WBLN, Rodrigo Blanco. This Saturday, Belen students will attend the annual Lupus Walk at Monument Spark. Spots are still available to sign up for service hours. The walk raises money for those who suffer from lupus, a disease in which the immune system attacks its own tissues. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Alonzo at mdalonzo at belenjesuit.org. Yesterday, Belen partook in National Diabetes Awareness Day by allowing students to wear a blue shirt over their uniform. World Diabetes Awareness Day was created by the International Diabetes Foundation and the World Health Organization in response to growing concerns about the escalating health threat posed by diabetes. The campaign draws attention to issues of paramount importance to the diabetes world and keeps diabetes firmly in the public and political spotlight. Our very own Don Cheney is an All-American. Andres Hernando has more on Don's recognition. Last week, Don Cheney was recognized with the All-American team selection. The presentation in the gym was opened by the marching band and an introduction from Mr. Roca and Father Willie. Cheney will lace up his cleats and represent Belen on January 4th at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, where 90 of the country's best high school football players will compete. Don is set to enroll early at UM in January, leaving Belen with a record-breaking 4,511 yards and 60 touchdowns on only 442 carries. Uh, first Reporting for WBLN, I'm Matthew Cardoso. The Supreme Court heard arguments surrounding the future of DACA. Chris Alvarez has more. The Supreme Court on Tuesday was sharply divided over President Trump's move to end Obama-era protections for immigrants who arrived in the U.S. illegally as children, as the justices heard oral arguments in one of the most closely watched cases of the term. 
President Trump, who campaigned on a promise to end Obama's illegal executive amnesties, announced plans in fall of 2017 to rescind the program. Is they're having DACA and their gang members and their drug dealers too. The move was met with swift legal challenges, as federal lower court judges in three cases ruled against the Trump administration, now bringing it to the Supreme Court. A ruling in such a contentious case isn't likely until the spring of 2020, assuring that DACA will play a role in the presidential campaign. For WBLN, I'm Chris Alvarez. A popular landmark in downtown Miami has undergone an unintended change. Javianis has more. The torch of friendship in downtown Miami next to Bayside flamed out. The fire stopped burning due to internal machinery that needs to be replaced. The torch of friendship was erected in 1960 as a welcoming beacon to Miami's Latin American and Caribbean neighbors. Over the years, it has also been a popular location for demonstrations and protests. It apparently will burn once again as soon as city officials know how much it will cost and have the parts needed to fix it. What's up, Wolverines? Here are your sports for today. Today, the middle school blue basketball team plays at St. Rose of Lima, and the middle school gold basketball team plays at Our Lady of Lourdes Parish School. The JV soccer team plays at Doral Academy Prep, and the varsity soccer team plays against Westminster Christian School at home. In college sports, University of Memphis Center potential number one pick James Wiseman has been declared as ineligible and will be unable to play games while he awaits reinstatement from the NCAA. Wiseman could practice, but he won't be able to play in games, and he's at risk of costing East Memphis High School its state championship. This is another episode in the Wiseman saga, who has withdrawn his lawsuit against the NCAA. Coach and former player Penny Hardaway facilitated the move to Memphis for Wiseman in 2017 and won a state championship with him. Hardaway was deemed as acting as a booster and Wiseman is out indefinitely. This could mean a resolution or a potential move to the EuroLeague for the 18-year-old stud. In the pros, the Dolphins host the Buffalo Bills this Sunday. The Dolphins are searching for the third straight victory against a 6-3 Bills squad who are coming off a three-point loss at Cleveland. The Miami Heat hosts the New Orleans Pelicans tomorrow at 8. The Heat look to take advantage of a struggling Pelicans team that's played with injuries to forward Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, and point guard Lonzo Ball. Remember the Letterman jackets can be purchased for $195 online at belenjesuit.org slash Letterman jacket deadline. Thank you, Jose. Attention all sophomores and juniors. Don't forget to sign up for Cardinary by November 25th. Thank you for watching this edition of WBLN. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. I'm Andres for now. And I'm Frank Garcia Montes. Stay golden, Wolverines.